And all I heard was the gunshots, and I was getting up to come in the house, and some young guy ran from that way and collapsed on top of me, he knocked me down. Deborah Dickens is 64 years old. For 21 years, she's lived at the Aziz Bates Apartments in Northeast. Last night, as she was coming home, she heard gunshots. Shortly after that, the murder victim fell on top of her. He was running and shooting. And when I heard and I seen somebody go past him, that's when I closed my eyes because the boy was on top of me. I thought I was going to meet the Lord. I thought I was getting shot, too. The murder victim identified as 24-year-old Lance Melvin. Now, as it turns out, Miss Dickens knew him. She said years ago he went to school in the neighborhood. I knew the guy that collapsed on top of me. Oh my. He was quiet, very respectful, mm. always helped me. In all, six men, including Melvin, shot. Five men wounded, including an off-duty fireman. Sources familiar with the case say he was hit twice and is still in the hospital recovering. On the wires, over the alley. Shoes in the sky. Generally, that can be evidence that something bad happened here, something violent happened here. On the edge of the alley, evidence of gunfire. On the post, and then on this fence, strafing marks here and there, there and over here. Take a look at this Jeep parked in the alleyway. Looks like a bullet hole to me. This window appears to be blown out. And this one here, and over here as well. Now, I don't know if this happened last night, but it's not a comforting sight. On the scene last night, Police Chief Robert Conti. You know, I'm angered and I'm saddened. I'm angered at the fact that residents had to experience this in their community tonight. The residents didn't deserve this. What happened here last night has the appearance of a neighborhood gang shooting. The motive? unknown. Cops back at the scene today looking for clues and information. I'm Pat Collins, News for Washington.